So these guys have just got off the ferry. Um, they've come over from the, all the way from the UK, um, one of them from Ireland as well. Um, and I think they've been driving down for about three, three days now. Um, they're meeting us here and we're starting a 10 day trip off-road round Albania. So it's gonna be absolutely fantastic, I can't wait. <laughs> so we've just stopped to fill up with some petrol. Um, I think some of the guys hadn't, hadn't filled up before coming over. So we've topped right up, we're on sort of half a tank. It's very expensive for fuel here. We just spent 91 euros on half a tank. So a bit painful, but hey, fuel cost is part of this kind of drive, driving. All right, there, guys, we'll uh, head on out of town. There you go, let's go. We are starting our trip leaving Duras northwards towards Skoda and then east towards the border with Kosovo and North Macedonia. The first half of our trip will be a loop of the north, whereas the second half we will be spending in the south near the Greek border. So small bit of drama, we've just heard from our tour guide that he has blown a tyre. He went on ahead just about this track here to go and explore to see uh, yeah, whether there was going to be a good camp for the night and he reckons he's hit some kind of like metal stake or something like that so it's blown the tyre right out. Um, we're going to wait here, he said that he doesn't need us to go help so he's going to switch that out and uh, we're going to hopefully get back on the road once he's done. While camping tonight, that's the plan, so um, we've got to find somewhere. And uh, it's now getting on for seven o'clock at night, so uh, time runs out, daylight runs out, um, the pressure's on to yeah, find somewhere to sleep. Right, so we've headed off about, what, 50 metres from camp? Um, and we've headed straight into this uh, really soft, silty riverbed. Um, Paul, who's leading the way, he's got himself dug proper, uh, proper stuck in. He was just sat there spinning his wheels, just digging further in. So we're getting the winch out on the second car. Um, we could try and pull it back and out and look for a better route. Mm-hmm. 
The landscapes in the north are dominated by mountains, forests and vast areas of land that are completely uninhabited. Absolute paradise for wild camping and off-roading. Catch the ferry across Lake Kamani early the next morning. We hope to camp just at the docks, but the parking area there proves way too small for our six cars, and so we need to maneuver around to get back through the long and narrow tunnel that leads to the ferry one by one to find a camp spot somewhere else on the other side. 